Hey guys, what's up? So this is the Anbernic RG35XX and this is the stock operating system. What do you get when you buy this from AliExpress or another store? It will come like this and the SD card that it comes included with will have tons of games on it. You can basically give this away as a gift, you know, and the person it doesn't need to be too technically inclined and they'll be able to just navigate in and play games very easily. But the really cool thing about this device is that a lot of developers have started to pick up on it and they're making custom operating systems which can do more and unlock the power of this system. It's funny because the stock operating system that comes with uh, the product out of the box, it actually doesn't use fully the hardware which is here in your hand. So it's it's quite silly actually. They've given you like a powerful device, but the software is is kind of holding it back. And in this video, we're going to investigate most of the custom firmwares, which is what we call them, that are able to unlock that power and give you different systems or uh, more smoother gameplay, more features, or just a better interface to uh, play your retro games. So with this one. We'll start with the stock operating system. So we've got like a baseline of what, we, uh, what we're what we talking about. So the stock operating system, you, you know, you have this category of games, you have these numbered games, and uh, you have some box art features. So it's, it's not too bad. Favorites, history, search, settings. Um, one of the annoying things when you first get the device is you probably want to turn this noise off because um, it, 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 makes a, it makes a noise when you're scrolling through this. And uh, the dragon theme, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the, you know, the, these button themes or the, the background settings. So usually this stuff, I, I kind of want to, you know, turn off. And uh, obviously if it's in, uh, if, if it's not in your language, um, you'll be able to change that here as well. So there's some things here which are already a little bit annoying, but to be honest, the it, it works, you know, everything just works with the uh, stock firmware. The most popular firmware for this device at the moment is going to be called uh, the Garlic OS. So let's just switch to that one. I'll just show you how quick it is to get in there. So we just turn the stock firmware off. And then in a second, let's put in our Garlic OS SD card. Right, so I've just changed SD cards and then power this up and we have Garlic OS. So what Garlic OS was is uh, one of the first firmwares that came out for this device. And as you can see, it boots up very quickly. There's no annoying uh, sounds or music or anything like that. Um, everything is just here, recent favorites, consoles. So I just have some Super Nintendo games here. And this is what the game list looks like. So we've got lots of games here. You can scroll through them left and right. You can favorite them. Um, some of the, it's a it's a very cool operating system, and I think that if you're just a uh, normal user um, who wants to just tinker just a just a little bit more than the stock operating system, I think this one is is uh, going to get my recommendation because it's easy to use. The person Black Serif he updates it very often, so you get new features and um, you're able to access the Retro Arch multi game emulator if you want to dig a bit more into the settings. Performance wise, it's also slightly better than the stock operating system because of the uh, it has some improvements with the screen, for example. You won't get uh, any issues with like scrolling or uh, jittery scrolling or scrolling that's not smooth. So I think 99% of people who are going to buy this device should put Garlic OS on it. Now there's one more operating system which I'm just going to show. I've heard of uh, a couple of more in development actually but I'm not too experienced in that. But let's um, reboot, let's uh, change the operating system and uh, change my SD card again, sorry. And then uh, we'll, we'll get into that other one. All right. Here we go. So that took a long, long time to load. But the cool thing about Batacera Lite Alpha version 3 is that it can run PlayStation Portable games on your RG35XX. So let's check what games we have here. Now, not all of them run perfectly, as, uh, as you might expect. But you can see I've got the best one here, which is uh, Luminez. 
one of the first games to come out on the PSP, and we'll just see how that runs because, in my opinion, it's probably the it's probably the best one because uh, the other ones not running too well. And I'll do another gameplay video just so you can see that later on. But here's an example of what's what's to come, I think, for the RG35XX. So the gameplay is reasonably smooth. It's not perfect, I'd say, but it's all right. So yeah, this is Batocera Lite running a uh, test uh, test version of the PSP emulator, um, but it's actually using the GPU, the graphics processing unit of the RG35XX now. So that is brand new. Um, that is a, a kind of a preview of what's to come, I think, because there needs to be more development on this. Obviously, that boot time is is uh, terrible compared to Gallic OS. Gallic OS is literally, you know, it, it, two seconds and you're um, you're playing a game. Um, but I think in time you'll see more uh, more developments with the RG three uh, five XX, especially this one. And as more developers get in control of that GPU, they'll be able to do cooler stuff, and you'll get more complicated and more feature packed uh, emulators with your RG35XX. So I hope that's given you a good flavor of what you can do with your RG35XX and uh, where you might want to go with it. In short, my recommendation right now is to go with Garlic OS, but do check out this. If you really, really like tinkering, you can look for that Batocera Lite and start playing some PSP games. Start looking forward to playing PSP games on your RG35XX in the near future. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time.